I think I mind the heat more now than I used to. I can remember visiting my grandfather's farm when I was little. We children would play in his ice house. All cool and dark and smelling of sawdust. He'd fill it with ice in the winter and hope it would last all summer. If the ice didn't last, his milk would sour and his butter go rancid. And that was a catastrophe. Electricity has changed all that. Right now, 1928, electric refrigeration is going into homes all over America. And the company I helped start, General Electric, has had a lot to do with that. Oh, the idea of electric refrigeration has been around quite a while. But developing a machine that was practical for the home, well, that was a different matter. Making the machine quiet and reliable so it would run without fuss for years and years. That's what General Electric has done. It didn't come easy. Here, let me show you something. Just take a look at that. Fifteen years of development. Well, these things never come easy. Working on my electric light bulb taught me that. But I suspect that pretty soon you won't find an ice box or an ice house anywhere in this whole country. And that will be the end of playing in ice houses on hot summer days. But I'm probably a little old for that anyhow. <laughs>